Hello everyone, my name is Nikoya, and this is Skyrim, and we are on episode 3 of our uh, Lusty Argonian made, uh, Blood Lusty Argonian made uh, playthrough, and we just cleared out uh, Bleak Falls Barrow in the last uh, playthrough, in the, uh, the last episode I should say, and today I am actually going to, uh, I think I'm going to grind up my uh, smithing skill a little bit. Now an easy way to do this is go into iron into iron dagger we see that uh, the iron dagger takes one iron ingot and one leather strip it's really cheap to make and gives you smithing points which is cool so we're gonna make a couple of those uh, we're out of iron ingots right now I don't think there's any more laying around here though no there's not and then we'll go into the trader assuming it's open uh, yes it is and uh, sell off a little bit of the crap we've accumulated and get a few uh, few points in our speech skill, assuming. Good morning. Ah, here we are. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Yeah, apparently not selling anything. Okay. All right then. Let's try this again. You and me. No, actually, I think we can only. Who aren't complete fools. I think we can only do this in the daytime. I'm going to. Uh, let me see. Button. There we are. Let's see. 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. That should do. Oh, hello. Did I see you talking to Sven. Maybe uh. not. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. You don't like Vandal. Thank you so. There we are. Now we can sell call stuff. This junk. Me, I call them treasures. So we will just check first quickly to see if he has any more steel. He has some iron. Or, uh, he does not have any steel. So, we'll go in here and, let's see, do we want to sell any weapons? Uh, we can get rid of some arrows. We will sell those one at a time to gain the most speech. Even though they only sell for zero. I'm actually not sure if they give us more speech. But, we'll see if they do or not. We always want to sell these one at a time so we... Make sure they oops, count as more transactions. There we go. Sell the iron daggers. We actually make money from that. Alright. Uh, get rid of the imperial armor, imperial boots, iron gauntlets, silver granite ring, silver ring. Uh, the rest of the stuff we have equipped. Um, let me see here. Illusion spell is 25% stronger. We're not going to be really, really using illusion, so we'll sell that off. Um, get rid of the poisons because I never remember to use them. Oops. Yeah. And. Hmm. We might try uh, scrolls, but for now we'll keep that around and see what uh, see what's what. Don't want to sell any of that. Uh, we'll sell an amethyst, sure, a garnet, and looks like we are good. So today what we are going to do is we are going to head on over to uh, Whiterun. On this, uh, what is hopefully a beautiful sunny day, but no, nope, apparently we're raining today, so. Can't have everything, I guess. So, right run, right, white run is off this way. And, just double check we can use our clairvoyance. See, we're on the right path. I really love this spell. Although it can be tricky to use in dungeons because it does actually make enough noise to aggro enemies. I mean, you can hear it making noise right there, obviously. And speaking of enemies, I hope we don't run into too many on the road here. Let's wait for our stamina to recharge so we can do a bit of jogging again. It's kind of a shame that jogging doesn't... Um, ooh, do I kill the bunny? Ah, I'm gonna let that one live. It's kind of a shame that, like, actually jogging doesn't... Um, uh, doesn't, like, increase your physical fitness and stamina anyway. It just keeps going down. Although I suppose that jogging would be a sort of annoying way to try and grind up a skill. 
Hello, who's this? You are a farmer. To join the Legion. A United Empire is better for everyone. Cool story, bro. So on this playthrough, I'm probably going to be joining the uh, the Imperials. Um, figure I'd do it that way so I could do like the Imperials on this on this character and do the um, the Stormcloaks on my other character. Just so at least I can get the uh, the joy of playing through both, and you can get the uh, you can uh, certainly watch uh, watch one of them at least. So this is, I believe, hunting room eatery. Yes, it is. Good to discover that we can fast travel it to, to it now. And right over here is White Run with a couple of farms in the middle there, but we won't bother discovering those for now. They're pretty useless, to be honest. Yep, definitely need more stamina. And farms and stables and blah blah blah. Yeah, it's nice that the sky's clearing up a little bit. Get some nice sunny uh, dragon killing weather going. Ooh, excuse me. A little bit of a breakfast belch there. And while I'm thinking of it, I'm gonna switch back to my sword and put it away. Hello, wait, we're in stables. You know, I've never actually tried using these services of the stables. Should maybe do that uh, at some point. Hmm, do you have anything interesting to sell? Let me just check here. Warm sands, friend. How may this one serve you? Take a look. Let's see. Does he have anything interesting? Mostly looking right now for. Um, I got some iron ore. No corundum though to make it into uh, steel. Uh, oh, we got some steel ingots, so let's grab those. And we need some soul gems. Probably. Hmm. Do I grab the orcularium now? I think I will. Oop! My speech is ground up. That's a good sign. Got some lock picks. Nah, I think we're pretty good on lock picks. And actually, I think we need some iron ingots. So why don't we grab some of those? And yeah, I'll grab the rest of the iron ore here as well. The iron ore is cheaper for no apparent reason since it just goes from... Ah, warm sands would be nice. It'd be a lot better than this frozen wasteland up here. Uh, but yeah, the iron ingots, uh, or the iron uh, ore is transferred directly into iron ingots, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense that they're cheaper. Uh, you know, unless you're in a place where there's, uh, where there's um, no smelters, but... There happens to be one right by the entrance of uh, White Run, just inside. So, hello, White Run. And this guy is gonna stop me here. And I gotta tuck my way past them. Hmm. Do I try a speech on him? Let me try. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Yay! I'm awesome. Looks like that speech skill is paying off already. I'm waiting for our thingy to load. And here we go! Blah, 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 blah. Alright, actually, I'm gonna quick save quickly. Here we go. And do a bit of smelting. Thank you. And let me see, I needed a helmet, I believe. Items, let me just check. Apparel, we need, yeah, we need a steel, steel helmet. So, steel helmet, we are going to need more leather strips. That's kind of, that's cool. Hmm, I definitely think we're going to go for the horned helmet. Is there any other kind of helmet? No, just that. So, we will sneak over here, use a tanning rack, and make ourselves some... Um, actually, we'll make some, sell some leather while we're at it, too. Get some more leather strips. And... Use the forge to make ourselves a steel 
horny helmet. Yes, I will create that. And our smithing gets leveled up. And we will put that on. Like so. And take a look at how badass we look. We'll just get over into the sun here. Oh yeah, we're looking badass right now. Look like we could take down a dragon. No problem. So, uh, let me see. We'll, we'll use the rest of this iron. I believe. Hang on, let me just check how much. I have eight iron ingots. I'm going to need more of those strips. Let's grind the rest up on making some uh, daggers. This is pretty much the last armor, the last iron I think we're going to need. Iron dagger. Here we are. You can see it uh, goes up pretty quickly. It looks like we're going to get a level up on that, too. Ooh, excuse me. And... Are we going to get a level up? No, we're not. Some good pieces out here. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith <laughs> in Yorlin, Yes, yes. It's yourself, wonderful. Or deal some damage. Alright. Do you have a little bit more... What do you do? I'm going to take all your... Oops, hang on. Take all your iron ingots. Ooh, it's more earth layer and steel. We don't need any more steel right now. But uh, while I'm here, I'm going to sell. Oops, not that. Weapon. The iron daggers. One at a time to get the most speech points. I'm sorry this isn't very uh, interesting so far, but. Go uh, away. Thank you. Don't forget to check inside the yes, shop I know. If you need it's funny she says that, but the inside they have the exact same. Um, the exact same inventory, so. Now, of course, you're using the forge now. But, uh, we're gonna need more leather strips, anyways. Let's see, we have six iron ingots, so another Have pack of leather father? strip. He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Yes, that's lovely. Oops. There we are. And. Come on. Thank you. Get out of my way. So, we will make and sell some more iron daggers. And actually level up this time. Yay! And we'll just talk to you and sell off these daggers. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. So, just a little bit of housekeeping right now, but uh let's see iron dagger. Some one at a time. There. Alright then. Wait, did I have other stuff I need to No, I think that was just uh right, I wanna keep that around for um, Actually, while I'm thinking of it, I should remind, remember to uh, keep an eye out for a pickaxe. Uh, but in the meantime, we will uh, see what we can level up. Uh, we are going to choose. Uh, we we'll start. We should probably start leveling up our magicka. Uh, let me see here. So we can put one in restoration. Can't level up our smithing yet. Our next one is at 30, so we're gonna have to. Oh, geez, Orcish isn't until level 50. I was... For some reason, I thought the Dwarven was after Orcish, but. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to go clear out some uh, Dwemer ruins to uh, get ourselves some Orcish metal there. Or some uh, Dwarven metal. Uh, blocking? Hmm. I'm pretty sure this counts uh, when I'm blocking with a two-handed. I'm pretty sure that this side uh, doesn't count when blocking with two-handed, so I'm going to be working on this side. Um, yeah, might as well grab that perk right now. No need to really overthink things. And there's Breeze Home. I'm going to own that eventually, but uh, not just yet, unfortunately, because I do not have nearly enough gold. I need something like uh, four thousand, I think, gold before I can get that. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Thank you, Solda. That's just lovely. She says that line every single time you pass her, and it gets so annoying. That guy also gets annoying. I keep feeling like there should be some quest that he gives, but I haven't found it yet. Anyways, we are heading up to Dragon's Reach. 
Yay, I discovered Dragon's Reach. And we will head inside and get our quest to go check out the uh, Western Watchtower. And while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to quick save again. Even though it says auto saving, but I never trust that. Plus I'll like end up hitting F9 to quick load and it'll load the... Nothing. What's the meaning of this interruption? is not receiving visitors. <laughs> I would do some helping about the dragon attack. Halver sent me Riverwood is in danger. I'll try that one. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Mm-hmm. I'm that awesome. Hello, Jarl of Whiterun. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Sure did. Hmm. What should I say here? I gotta try this one. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the dragon is lurking in the mountains, that is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Indeed it would. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. That was totally my initiative and not the fact that I had a quest marker pointing here. As a small token of my esteem. Yay, I think I just got the um, another thing you could do for me. I'm not sure what I got. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Cool. Let me just oops not that. I wanna check what uh I can't remember what I actually got here. Well, anyways, I'll look in the video later, which I'm conveniently recording right now. Okay, let's just go away. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Uh huh. Hmm. What project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. Hmm. The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Jarl's throne. Not over here in a wizard's laboratory. Apparently I Faringar, tried to I I do that a little quick. Can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I can't rush it. Use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, that stone tablet. <laughs> Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. It does indeed contain a map of dragon Bleak burial Falls sites. Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. You know, it's so simple, I already did it. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I never really pick the uh, the reward options in this one, just because I figure they're like going to get really indignant and trying to stab me. So that is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mine. We'll be getting plenty of gold, lady, later. All right. So at some point, this girl comes up here and says, oh my god, a dragon's attacked. 
Varanga, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. I should. A dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack White Run, I don't know if we can stop it. I'm pretty confident. Let's go. Ooh, excuse me. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. Chicken! Buck, 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 buck. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Get running away from a dragon is totally earning Better food and rest. Guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Uh huh. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. Wouldn't really call that experience experience, but you know. Retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. We'll go with it. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Now we got the Axe of White Run. Come along. I would very much nope. Like to see got Pride Boots and Dwindling Flames. No, no, we'll get the Axe of White Run later, I think. I to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. Blah, 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 words, words. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Sure you are. Dragons I can handle. But this talk of dragons... Oh, God damn it. World gone mad, I say. So we're going to ignore those booties for now. Actually, did I get any other armor from that? Let me just check. Apparel. Uh, I have leather armor for some reason. Maybe that's what I got earlier. Now the flame protection on the boots is probably going to be useful unless this is an ice type dragon, but uh, we're going to skip it see how we do anyways. Might die a couple times, but ah, you know what's the fun in uh, winning the first time on everything. In Dragon Street, say you aided the yard. Of the white run, I think. Uh huh. Walk among the stars. Cool story, bro. Family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find out. And why shouldn't I? Just because dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. And out we go. Finally getting some what action. What is it? It's dragons. And off we go. So we're just gonna sort of run off the edge here. And give not a single shit to slight amounts of fall damage if we get any. So if we see a dragon circling around. Nope. Oh, um, yeah. I think that guy was lying. Totally not any dragons. Just a fairy tale. There we go. Oh, there's some bugs there. I should probably catch at some point for my alchemy, but too lazy right now. Ooh, that watchtower doesn't look too happy. So we'll sort up and wait for the dragon to uh, show up. Oh, 
can wait for Isolde to get here as well. I think she has to come this way before the quest will trigger. We discover this one, thinking of it. How close do I have to get to discover it? There we go. Level F5 to quick save. And wait around for the dragon. Hello, dragon! Dragon, dragon, dragon! Hello! <laughs> ah, there we are. Cool. There we go. Barbie the dragon. Oop, up here somewhere. There he is. Now I kill the dragon. Of course, I don't have a bow and arrow, so I just have to wait for him to come down here eventually. Can't really do much yet. Hello, dragon! Just try not to get owned. Well, we kill Mirror Mirror. And watch out for the tail. And run away quickly. And get ourselves some healing on. Oops, that one. Yay! Restoration leveled up. And he is a fire type dragon. Ah, oh, damn it! You're all the way over there. Get. That doesn't appear to block anything worth shit. Still gonna own him nonetheless. No, my kid. No. Now give me a your soul. Hmm, picante. Yeah, don't. Ooh, they have value. I'll take those actually. Amethyst, Dragon Bone, Dragon Scales, Gold. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, got a little dragon caught in my throat. Iron Gauntlets, Fur Boot, White Run Guard's Helmet and Armor. It looks like he ate a White Run Guard. Well, we'll grab that and sell it to someone. There we are. Blah, blah, blah. Equip, shout, don't care. Yeah, who would have thought? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Sure did. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Alright. So we'll unlock our shout. Unrelenting force. Zero dragon souls? Hang on, what? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell you. Oh, it's already unlocked. It did it for me. Cool. About the so let's see the shout. The like Oops. Hang on. God damn it, I have to equip it. There we go. I've never heard of what I've said. That's a dragons. Like a graveyard on the mountain. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. <laughs> Now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal the power. That's me. Yay. You're being awfully quiet. Come on here, then. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Yep, sure would. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. Yeah, you actually do need a dragonborn. You ain't all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've 
seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn. Yay, I'm Dragonborn. Look at me, I'm Dragonborn. I'm jumping for Dragon Joy. Suck at Mirmir. I own you. So now we go back to White Run. In fact, we are actually going to just fast. Thank you. Go away. Fast tra travel there. Not that it's that much faster with all the level loading time, but I guess we have to go through level load anyway. So. Ding. Oh, those guys. I don't want to do that quest. It's annoying. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. you say that every time I see you. Hello, Greybeards. Blah blah blah. All right. So my apologies that this episode has mostly been running around from place to place, but. Patron of the great clan, Battleborn. I spend a lot of time at market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. You say that every time I see you, Isolda. Oh my God. Just want to check, double check to see if I leveled up there. No, okay. We're still good. So now we go tell the Yarra how badass we are. Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? <laughs> there, I take that I one. I count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. <laughs> Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? I know I am one. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. They sure were. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. Yep, I can sure do that. They really are Dragonborn. They can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? Sure did. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. Well, this better not keep him waiting. Centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, Dragonborn. You know, I could show it at you. Nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? They want to teach me That's cool things. Greybeards business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. My god, he is so long-winded. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? 
Cool story, bro. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl. There we go. Now we got the axe white run. White run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Certainly not. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. Right then, to off to, to High Hothgar. Yes, and hopefully this won't take too long to get up there. All right. So before I go, I'm going to sell off a little bit of guff that I collected from the uh, the dragon that uh, guard armor. That God, would you shut up already? Can I like pay him to not talk or something? I don't even. Yes, I'm sure I'm going to know you well soon since you keep telling me who you are. Oh my god. Is there a mod or something I can use to get these people to shut up? I just... Got something for just about everybody. <sighs> Thanks, Belathor. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Cool story, bro. So, weapon. Uh, keeping that, and we'll sell these one at a time. It'd be really be nice if they actually collected the same amount of speech skill if regardless of how many you sell at once, but unfortunately that's not what happens. I have a steel mace of sparks. Where did I get that? Hmm. Okay. No way, maybe I got that before. Anyways, fur boots do not need that. Hide boots of dwindling flame, increase fire. I'm gonna learn that enchantment I think probably. Alright, gauntlets, our helmet, leather armor, white run guard armor, white run guard helmet. Uh, anything else we need to get rid of? Uh, amethyst. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, that looks like it. Cool. Do come back. Goodbye, Bellathor. And for once, I didn't walk over your table and knock everything over. That's so good. It's like every time I turn around after selling stuff to him, I always knock over those goblets on the table. Hello, Breeze Home. You will soon be mine. Soon, but not yet. You there. We're looking for God, I life don't life. care. Money for information. You... A woman, a foreigner in Fine, I'll take the quest just so you'll shut us. the hell up. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Yeah, don't care. She cannot hide from us forever. So yeah, I actually tried to do that quest on my other one and it bugged out on me. Like I got to the part where you go in the prison and talk to the prisoner and try and release him, but the guards never released him. And the quest just didn't advance and it really annoyed me. So I'm just going to ignore that quest on this playthrough. And screw the Red Guard. They can find their own woman. So, out we go. And actually, I'm going to see if I can use uh, services of this fellow. Hello, Bjorlum. I'd like to hire your carriage. Dawn Star, Fall Creek, Mark, Lift, and Solitude. Um, hang on. That's fine. Let me just see where I do want to go. Okay. Uh, map. I want to go to Ivarstead. I don't think that was on the list. Hang on, was oh, Ivarstead on the list? Can take you where do you want to go? 
Evarsted is not on the list. Well, screw you. Oops. Right. Go away. So, here we go, wandering among the Lisa Green. Or is it wassailing? I can never remember. Uh, anyways, we need to go up there, and we can't get around there from this side. We have to go around to the other side. And I believe it is up through this way. Oh, dear root, you buggy plant. If you leave this stuff planted for too long, this glow just sort of, like, overwhelms everything and turns into a complete visual disaster, basically. Hello there. This was as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Main. Sure is. Hello, White Run Guard. So I'm probably just going to go over to Ivarstead. Um, actually, now that I think I'm not sure which way is quicker. I'll go over this way to discover a few places. Ivarstead says this way. Okay, we'll go this way. Oh, and there's some wolves out after me. Hello, wolfies. You want me? Do you want to donate a wolf pelt to me today? level up a bit of blocking while we're at it. And we'll take your wolf belt. And try to look where I'm going. At some point I probably should try to grind my blocking just to uh, get that skill up so it's there when I need it. But uh, there's been a bit of a dull episode so far so I don't want to be too boring obviously. I'm gonna ignore that guy. He's annoying. I'll probably have to kill him at some point, but... Right now I'm just going to pretend he doesn't exist. Hello, more wolfies! There we go. Didn't miss that time. Ooh, a silver grinder ring. I will definitely take that. And while I'm thinking of it, I will quick save. And away we go. I'm not going to discover that stone yet because there's a like a necromage that hides behind it. And I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. Especially since he's probably going to own me. Which would be annoying. How many fucky wolves are there out there? Oh my god. Oh, they just killed a fox or something. Ooh, right in the balls. That's gotta hurt. So we'll grab some more wolf pelts since we're still in the armor crafting phase of our playthrough. And up here should probably be a fox pelt on this fox. Thank you. And try not to get myself overburdened. That means about 100 pounds or so. So we gotta be a little bit careful until we get our house in White Run, uh, where we'll have a chest to actually store crap. And don't care about getting myself some venison. Even though that's technically an elk and not a deer, but I don't expect the uh, game designers to actually know that. Ooh, excuse me. See, that's more like a deer. But they seem to they seem to think that like all ungulates are the same. So who am I to question them? Right, and this little bridge area is full of bandits who are assholes. Forgot that this was along this way. Yeah, this is a real big surprise. Get fucked. And I will take your gold and your lockpick. Do the shovels do anything? Someone needs to tell me in the comments if they are actually even vaguely remotely useful. Wait, quick save quickly before we go in here and kill these bastards. 
<laughs> and while I'm at it, I won't steal all your stuff, except you know this is actually useful. So screw it. Um, uh, death isn't awaiting me in particular, no, it's awaiting someone more like you. There we go. I will take... I don't even want to... Yeah, I'm not feeling like that. Alright, take that stuff. And we will go down here. And... Kill you! Oops, there's another bandit there. No, no, you won't. Hang on, I'm gonna heal up quickly. Because I'm taking a bit of damage here. Yay, my blocking increased. And heal up again. Goodbye, Bandit Chief. And I will not take a shield, I will take your gold, though. And an Orcish Sword. Ah, uh, that's a one-hander, though. Screw it. I'm not going to lug that around. Alright, I'm going to quickly heal up. Basically just to grind my healing. And I will quick save, so I don't have to do all that again. And then go fuck up this last guy. Yeah, that doesn't do shit. Yay, a level up! And thank you for not falling off the edge while I steal your gold. And the dramatic music is still playing because I need to still go kill this guy. Oops, that door was already open. Uh, yeah, that's what you should be doing. As I dodge all your arrows. Excuse me, you have a sword in your ass. Well, not technically his ass, but I could put one there. Alright. Take me some gold. And leave all the rest of the crap because do not give a fuck. And we will go loot all your chests. So, let me see. Anything interesting in the dresser? A hat or a blacksmith apron? No, thank you. Alchemy lab. With some frost medium, elves ear, and garlic. I have no idea if that makes something. Quite possible it does. Alright. And a chest to unlock. Which is thankfully thankfully exceptionally easy. Healing and stamina, that's always good. And boots, boots, clothes, do not care. Uh, let me see. Nope, no level up from that, and no level up from that, and no level up from that. Do I level up from any of these books? I can never remember which I do and which I don't. Ah, well, whatever. Doesn't take long to flip through them. So, up at the top here, there's a boss chest. Ooh, ha ha. Steel arrows. Yeah, I'll grind them for selling. Uh, potion of True Shot. I can sell that. Spell Tome. Frostbite. I will learn that right away. Ring of Minor Wielding. One headed attacks. Yeah, I'll just sell it. It's worth a bit at least. Um, is there anything interesting on here? Uh, potion of Minor Healing. Wine. Alto Wine. Don't care. End table. We'll take your gold. Leave your charcoal because the charcoal is useless. The Black Arrow. Oh, that increased my archery. Cool. Alright, I have a level up to do. Let me take care of that. And we will take some health, because we are getting low there. So, let me see. Uh, where was heavy armor? Here we are. Can't do any perks in heavy armor yet. Is there anything we can do perks in? We can do perks in restoration. We can get regeneration. Why not? So let me just check what other skills we have. Lock picking, not sneak, not light armor. Ooh, actually, we got perk and two handing already. Power attacks with two handed 
cost 25% less the stamina, that would be nice. Or do we want deep wounds? Uh, let me see. We're at 35 already. And so those become something. I'll probably do um Oh, I love that one. I eh, don't think I'll do the sprinting one. I think I'll do the probably do the devastating blow one. So might as well unlock this one. There we go. So we are up to level seven already. That's pretty badass. So I'm gonna pop that sword away so it's not like right in my face. And let me see that. Okay, that bow just went down there. I think this is a special bow. At least it was. Ah, yes, it is. A pure bow of scorching. So I'll probably learn the enchantment off that. Assuming I'm going into it enchanting, which I may or may not do. Uh, let's see, healing, pickaxe, yay! Finally got a pickaxe. Now we can mine some ores and don't have to buy everything. All right, so I believe there is one more dresser or something across the bridge here. Maybe a chest up on the second level, or something. I don't know. Uh, any loots? Hello, loot. It is really dark here. I can barely see anything. Oh, there's an empty wardrobe. That's not entirely useful. It's just that guy up there who's already dead. Go down here. There's a shelf full of crap. There's a cupboard with leather strips. I'll take that. The rest of that is crap. And. Cool. Down we go. So I'm thinking that I will just go over to um, Varstead, I believe it is, today. I don't think I'm going to go all the way up. There we go. Uh, let's deactivate that trap first. Because obvious trap is obvious. There we are. Almost. There we go. And we'll just take some gold. There's that crap. And. Ooh, there's a cooking pot here. Hang on, do I have any salt piles with those rabbit legs? Thank you. Uh, rabbit haunch, yay! I only have one salt pile. Dang it. Well, at least we can make one rabbit haunch. Alright, so we will quick save and continue along our way. I think this is going to be a long episode today. But uh, hopefully, you guys don't mind and make up for uh, not putting out an episode yesterday. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. More episode link means more episode belches. Um, just thinking about something here. Oh, there is a... Oh, no, that's a rock. I thought there was like a dead deer or something. But uh, I'm remembering something from my last playthrough here. There is a cabin down here, I believe. Uh, I think it is around here. I think, I think, I think. There's that. Uh, Hang on a second. This is. Oh, that's Dark Shade. No, it's in a different spot. Never mind. So we'll just ignore that for now. Uh, let me just make sure it's not down. No, okay, I'm thinking of a different section of the river. Uh, yeah, there is a, uh, a little cabin around uh, down this river somewhere. Uh, apparently not exactly here, but. Uh, hang on, let me just check the map. Uh, oh, that's right. It's down around here, I think. I think. Possibly. Yeah, I think it's like right around there. So, we're heading that way anyways. So, no need for us to worry in the slightest. 
Uh, now the nice thing also as well is there is a uh, there's a corundum mine not uh, too far from here, which I will probably discover but not mine out on this episode because mining is mind-numbingly boring. Although we actually don't need any more steel because we have uh, our full armor set, we got our sword, so we're doing okay there. Hmm, is that guy an assassin or something? Hang on, let me just quick save before I go up and talk to him. The last time I came down here, I, like someone tried to randomly assassinate me. No, he's just a farmer. All right, do I want to discover that? Actually, yeah, it's actually useful to discover because you can like fast travel over to it. So I'm gonna just quickly zip on up here. Yeah, might as well climb up the stairs properly. I'll go this way, and I will discover you. Yeah. Hello, Hilgren's tomb. So, got that done. This will hopefully get a little bit more interesting as I progress on this uh, playthrough, as I get more places I can fast travel through. I don't need to walk around in the middle of the night like I'm doing right now. At least it's a pretty moon out. But, uh, anyways, you go down this way. And. I'm pretty sure. That the. shack I'm thinking of is, like, right over. Oh, is it over this way or not? I'm not sure now. I think it is. I think it's like this way and then just around around here. Ah yeah, yeah, I recognize this. It's around this way, you go down here. Maybe possible. Hmm. No yeah, this isn't where it is either. God damn it, now I completely lost. No, this is definitely not where it is. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait, hang on. Maybe it's just over here. And I can't get up here, can I? No, I cannot. Damn it! Why do you make this look like a path? And you map designers. Watch, I'm probably going to be stuck here. Nope, I'm good. Okay. Let's take the high ground. We can always drop down around and uh, get to places from there. Is it over here? Ah, uh, yes, here we are. So, down in here, at least the last time I played through, there was a very special book. And there it is. First of all, I'll take the shrine of Dibella. And, um, I have to come around this at another angle. Hang on. Uh, I can get this if I come up here. Hi, Lucky Lorenz. I am going to take your gold and your lockpick. A treasure map will take that. I don't remember that from last time. The Lusty Argonian Maid, Volume 1. If you didn't know what this uh, series was titled after, this is it. Act 4, Scene 3, Continue. List your tale. Certainly not, kind sir. I am here but to clean your chambers. Crentius Colto. Is that what? Is that all you have come here for, little one? My chambers? List your tale. I have no idea what is it is you imply, master. But I am, a, I am but a poor Argonian maid. Crentius Colto. So you are, my dumpling. And a good one at that. Such strong legs and shapely tail. List your tale. You embarrass me, sir. Crentius Colto. Fear not. You are safe here with me. Mr. Tail, I must finish my cleaning, sir. The mistress will have my head if I do not. Grantius Colto, cleaning, eh? I have something for you here. Polish my spear. Mr. Tail, but it is huge. It could take me all night. Grantius Colto, plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. End of Act 4, Scene 3. I'm going to take that bad boy. 
so that is Lest the Argonian Made Volume 1. I don't know where Volume 2 is yet. I haven't found it in my other playthrough, but uh, I will surely be keeping my eye out uh, for it. So, sorry Lucky, but I'm taking your uh, taking your literature with me. And while I'm thinking of it, I want a quick save so I don't have to go find that again. And off we go. Oops, I'm still sneaking because I need to duck under something. There we go. Uh, this side. What the hell was that? Wait, am I going the right way? I can't remember. There's one way to find out! Here, buoyance. Fuck that. I'm going this way. It says Ivar stayed this way. Right, I believe this keep is full of assholes, and I don't really want to deal with them. Hello, little fox. I'm not going to kill you today because I have a lot of pelts on me right now. Oh, hello. I can't remember if this guy tries to kill me or not. He looks kind of like he's a vampire. So we will quick save and then we'll go up and fuck him. Nope, not a vampire, but an annoying fire mage who's going to get owned. Cool, pity soul gem. Yeah, we're good. And I will heal. Here we are. And get back to my big ass sword, which I will put away, not jump. Vars stayed this way. That's what it says. Is my clear point still pointing the wrong way? So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do that. See if that works better. Yeah, it's still pointing the other way. Whatever. And there's some wolves after me. Hello, wolves. Are you not dead yet? What the? God damn it. Wolf pelt, sure, I got a little more room in my inventory. You need that eventually. Yep, nope, healing. Ah, that did his work. Cool. Now I can pop up clairvoyance automatically, and which will point me in the wrong direction, but Whatever. Pop that away, and we will continue along our way. So yeah, if this turns into like a two hour marathon and you don't want to sit through it, I apologize. You can always hit pause and go grab yourself a cup of coffee to keep your, uh, keep your eyes open. Now I'm just going to go over and discover this mine quickly. So yeah. Wait for the game to unfreeze itself. So this happens sometimes, I'm not sure exactly what causes it, but it just sort of freezes up for a moment and then in another moment it will unfreeze itself eventually. Hello unfreezing, anytime now. Anytime now. Come on. Usually unfreezes itself. Come on. Hello, unfreezing, please.
Well, that was annoying. The game actually did properly crash. Didn't actually come back. So I lost a um, slight amount of progress, but I'm still back here on the uh, just ahead of that bridge. So we're not uh, too far back. Hopefully, it won't crash again when I go over that bridge. But it seems to be just uh, completely random when it happens. Um, doesn't seem to be any particular cause and or solution. So we'll just uh, go over here and hope for the best. Yay, we made it this time. Cool. And we discovered Dark Water Crossing. And we're not actually going to go in there because it's boring in there. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to go back up the uh, road here. All that sort of way so it's not covering the screen. And watch, I'll turn the corner and there'll be more wolves after me. Just gonna do a quick save there so I remember to actually. so that it doesn't uh, quite screw me over as much if I uh, crash- Ow! Ah! God dang it! That scared me. Oh, a fucking saber cat. God dang it. Ow. Yes, I know. God, would you go away? Potion. Minor healing, minor healing, minor healing. I'll take a couple of those. I hate you fucking saber cats. Ah, get fucked. And I'll take that, and I'll eat that. Restore stamina, yay. Oops, that, that one, there we go. Yeah, this is about the level when saber cats start popping up, and they are annoying. Put that away. We'll save so we don't have to do that again. And so it doesn't remind us of the stupid, your health is low, you have to save, and screw me up in the middle of combat. Whoever made that dialog box, I just want to stab you in the face because I hate you. Seriously hate you. Uh, it is like, it's like, you're in the heat of battle, you're about to die, it's like, it seems like a good place to put up a modal dialog box that tells you to just, ugh, very annoying. But uh, anyways, we made it through there, okay. We're still alive, we didn't have to reload and... Try and kill him again. Hello, fox. It's interesting. Looking inside the log there. So yeah, this is looking to be a uh, marathon session today. There's actually a dragon that lives right in there. Uh, but, you know, like I said, to make up for uh, not making one yesterday, uh, I checked the video after I crashed, and it was um, about an hour so far, give or take, depending on how you count it. And so I'll probably add it on probably another half hour just walking over to the... Um, and now there's a bear. No, that's a saber cat. God damn, it's hard to tell these guys apart. There we go. We're getting the hang of this. Don't slide down the hill. I'm going to take your pelt first. Now you can go slide down the hill. Bye, saber cat. Corpses in this game are incredibly slippery. You know, I don't remember what that little HUD marker is. I'm not sure if I ever actually discovered a place up there. More wolves. Well, wolves are fine. You can fuck them up pretty well. And stab them in the balls. That's really gotta hurt. Uh, yeah, we'll take a few more pelts. Save us from buying leather. Ooh, an incarnate. That's cool. We'll quick save again, just in case we crash, which we hope doesn't happen, but you never know. So yeah, I'm not sure what this map HUD indicator is. I'm sure I'll find out eventually.
A bunny! I'm not gonna kill a bunny today. Well, I might. If I catch up to him, I'll hack him to little tiny bunny bits. Better run quick, bunny. I'm catching up to you. I'm catching up to you. No, I don't think this bunny has uh, got the quickness genes he needs to survive. Oh, maybe he does. He's getting a little quicker. Darting back and forth. Oh, there's Snap Lake Cave. What a lovely name for a cave. Oop. What the hell was that? Oh, there's the bunny sp spazzing out. Nope, he's still up there. Ooh, hello, Aurora. That's a very pretty sky. And according to these, these Aurora, I'm at the North Pole. So, uh, learn something new every day. Um, okay. That, that was different. Sure. Ah, there's that guy. He's an asshole. I will come back and kill him at some point. Ooh, should I do it now? Mmm, tempting. It's already sort of turning into a marathon, so... You know, I think I will. So... There's one guy down here that I forget. Uh, where is that one guy? Ooh, hello! Whoa, Jesus! Oh god. I'm going somewhere I don't want to go. Help. Could I get back up here? Um, this could be slightly annoying. Uh huh. Let us. Um, oh dear. This is. Um, hmm. Okie dokie. I'm going to try to go over this way. And Argonians are perhaps not the best mountaineers. Okay, are we getting over this way? No, that's no good. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, can I glitch up this hill? No. Uh huh. Well, this is annoying. Um, oh dear. I suppose I'm just going to have to go down there. Let me put away my sword before I accidentally stab myself. Oh dear, this is... Oh, jeez. Oh, Lord. So, that was, um, slightly annoying. Whoa! Hello. Okay. Thank goodness. Okay. Can we get somewhere good to... No, Jesus. Oh, God damn it. Okay, this is really obnoxious. Whoever designed this part of the map, I will find you and I will destroy you. I mean, how, I'm all the way down to the bottom of the fucking cliff again. Seriously? I have to walk all the freaking way back up. That is such bullshit. And what the heck? Jesus Christ, where the hell did that come from? Okie dokie. Is that a troll statue? What the hell is that? Whatever. Is there a bridge somewhere here? Anywhere? For. Bloody hell, where. You know, if this bullshit keeps up, I'm going to fast travel somewhere. Ah, uh, where the snot is the bridge? Oh my god. That was the most obnoxious river I have ever been in. Get down. Oh my god, I gotta go down further. Fuck!
Um, trees don't hover. Sorry to say, but they don't. Well, on the bright side, it's going to be morning soon, so we'll actually be able to see what the hell we're doing. Hello, dead saber cat. What I wouldn't do for a no clip right now. And more stamina, that would be nice too. Hello, goat. Hello, other goat. Why even going the right way? Good Christ. Yes, I remember that log now. Okay. So around we go again, I guess. And uh, hopefully this time we won't um, screw up and fall off a fucking cliff. And there we are. Is there? Rolly dead saber cat. We can drag him down another hill. Can I not grab him? Roll him down the hill. I don't get that. They slide down this slope like they're made out of freaking Teflon. But then you try and grab him, he's like, nope. Yeah, I really don't know what's up there. I don't recognize that icon from anything. One of these days, I will find out what that is. If I don't get back there in a few videos, uh, remind me in the comments to go check out what the hell that is. Because that is a weird looking icon. Hmm, whatever. Hello, dead wolves. Uh, get a little jogging going. I believe the heavy armor actually weighs me down on the jogging a bit, so... Ooh, excuse me, a bit unfortunate for the, that perspective, but does give me the, bit, the ability to tank a bit more, which is uh, nice. Nice to be able to do. There, there's a thingy up there that I don't care about. No more goats. Let's see, if I were a mountain goat, I'd be able to go right up that ledge. Wouldn't have to go all the way fucking back around here. Hello, Snapleg Cave. We got Snapleg Cave, right? Yep, Snapleg Cave. Just a remarkably pleasant name for a cave. Ooh, Scaly Philotia. Hang on, what was that? Scaly Full something. Oops, uh, ingredients. Uh, let's see, make sure I've eaten everything. Oh, I haven't eaten Elves ear or Frost Miriam, or Garlic. I've given me some bad breath. Or Tapanella. Scaly foli foliota. Scaly foliota. That's what it is. Here we are. A little quick save. Just so we don't have to do that stupid climb again. So yeah, kind of a little bit cheating here because I already know what happens, but um, yeah, long story short, there's a bunch of bandits back here and I'm going to fuck them up before I talk to that guy. And I'm going to get really crappy frame rates apparently, which is slightly annoying. Hey bandits, guess what? I'm gonna fuck you up. Be careful. Oh. Wait, that was a guard? What? Hang on. Need something? These are bandits last time I was through here. Maybe you have to talk to him once. 
There's a dead rabbit in the room. That's very strange. Hang on, I gotta quick load and see what happens if I talk to that guy. You guys don't mind? Yes, I will load there. That is very strange. The last time I was through here, I talked to that guy, I went over to the thingy, and it's full of bandits. And I want to get to the bottom of what's going on here. So, there's this guy sitting here. Are they gone? Hello, Telrav. Please help. I can pay you. I say, are you okay? Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? Sure, I can. My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. I am like 99% sure there's going to be a bunch of fucking bandits back here, but I don't know Just why there's. The bridge and up that hill. Yeah, sure is. So if there are bandits up here, I am calling shenanigans. Close now. I can see the camp. Uh huh. Wait here. I'll be right back with your reward. There's a. Mm. There's guards. Looks like. Hey! Come on! Oh no, they are bandits. Right, fuck them. <laughs> Not quite good enough. Are you? No, you aren't quite good enough. You won't live to see yeah, I was wondering about that. Alright, so we'll loot everyone afterwards. Fuck off. Kill Rev. Yeah, you deserved every inch of that sword. Alright, so there's a couple of more guys up here I have to kill. Let's go over this bridge, I believe. It is time to end this little game. This game being your... Where the Christ are you? What? Who are you even swinging at? Where are the... Get fucked. And then there's one more person somewhere. Assumably. Hello, person that I'm going to kill. Come up, come up, wherever you are. No, I don't think you will. There you are! Right in the balls. Oh, that is very satisfying. I will take your gold. I will not take your battle axe, though. I believe the battle act covers a bunch of the screen, and I'm going on swords this time. Because I like me some swords. I'll take your soul gem. More acts of embers. Yeah, I'll take that for the enchantment, why not? Uh, the strips, I'll take that. Don't need ragged robes. Certainly do not need any of that. Man, I already have a steel great sword, which is plus four on mine? Hang on. Damage twenty four, weapon. Steel great sword damage twenty four. Why does it say plus four? I'm not understanding this. Weight seventeen, value ninety. Weight seventeen Okay, I'm whatever. No idea what's going on there. Search the chest, I'll take your goal, your lock picks, your healing. Iron boots, nah, I don't need that. And I will go loot the uh, rest of the scrap. Nothing interesting there. Pretty much done in this building. Yeah, nothing interesting there. Go across the little bridge. Tra la 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 la. Yeah, don't need a lantern. All right, Mr. Telrav, I will take my reward from you now, in the form of your gold, and there's that's crap. 
But yeah, I totally call shenanigans on these guys being guards. Complete bullshit. I'll take your gold. I yeah, might as well take your dagger. I'll just sell it. Uh, small antlers. Weakness to poison discovered. Cool. And I'll search your chest, take your gold and your luck picks. And if I can stop getting like green wafty all over me, that is disgusting. Um, yeah, green apples don't care. So that is that. Let that be a lesson to you, bandits. Did I do both of these guys? Yes, I did. Okay. Ooh, slaughterfish scales. Slaughterfish scales. I got two of them. Ooh, and slaughterfish steaks. I'll take that. And I'll take those strips. And while I'm thinking of it, I will check that ingredient. Slaughterfish scales. Resist frost. There we go. Ooh, excuse me. A little quick save. I could have sworn there's a guy that pops up back here somewhere. But I don't know where he is. So, you can die of starvation for all I care. Oops, thought he heard him sneaking up behind me, but I didn't. Anyways, onward we go to Ivarstead through the wilds and wilderness. I wonder if our clairvoyance is pointing the right way yet. Let me see, that's not clairvoyance. That's not clairvoyance at all. Um. There. Oop, nope. Here. Ah, it's pointing the right way now. Pointing directly to this wolf who I need to fuck up. You know what? I think I like this heavy sword. Very satisfying to be able to one-hit uh, stuff like that. So you know what? I'm going to quickly discover this farm just so we can fast travel to it later. So I will do that. Hello farm. And I will go back up here. Try to get eaten by any slaughterfish. Mine some iron ore veins, why don't I? Since I finally have a pickaxe and you can see how incredibly boring it is. That is how amazingly fascinating mining is in this game. Hello, moose. Which is also probably called a deer. There's just a random camp here. With apparently nobody in it. Sucks to be them. Yoink. Ooh, hello. Read note. Go to the island near the edge of the lake. Look for where a great tree once stood. That's where I buried it. Okay. Well, this is an island near the edge of the lake. Hello. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Oh, that's not what I yeah. There we are. You don't look very friendly. <laughs> I'm just whiffing through these guys. Are you not hitting? Connect the damn shots. Come on. There we go. No, I believe it awaits you. And we will heal up. Yay! Restorations increased. And I will take... Mm -hmm. You don't have anything interesting. Do you have anything interesting? Nope. Now right, let's see where this garbage is that you are looking for. You weren't looking for more tapanella, I know that much. Here we are! 36 gold and iron... You seriously were willing to kill someone over 36 gold and an iron fucking ingot. Oh my god. That is sad. Anything interesting in your sacks? Yeah, it's a bunch of carrots, I don't care. Well, 
Well, kids, this is where greed leads you. Dying over 36 gold. Lesson we learned there. So, it's not too much further to Evarstead. I don't think I'm going to get all the way up to, uh... Hello, Nirnroot. I don't think I'm going to get all the way up to, um... The Greybeards at... Place. That I'm not remembering. High Hrothgar. I don't think I'm going to get all the way up there today because this is actually dragging on for a ways. And I don't want to be uploading for like three days solid. What's that one? Oh, hello. What's that way? Windhelm, Riften. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I know where we are. Sort of. So, are these bad guys or good guys? I'm gonna get my sword out just in case. Ah, Stormcloak soldiers. So, what are you killing? Ah, Frostbite Spider! I'll take your steel arrow and your Frostbite Venom. And I'll sell your steel arrow to grind more speech points. Yeah, I already have the join the storm cloak thingy. So I thought I did. Miscellaneous. No, he's join the Imperials. Oh, the storm cloak guys. All right, he's the Ulfric. Uh, the guy's under Ulfric storm cloak. Right. So yeah, as I was saying, um, in the first episode. Hello, Wolfie. Do you want to donate a pelt to me? Yes, you do. I will take your pelt and fuck you. I will take your pelt and I will take your pelt. So yeah, as I was saying in the first episode, um, the choice you make with uh, who to go to basically just determines uh, which side you get offered to join first. And it doesn't actually exclude you from anything that I could see, at least. Uh, stuff basically goes the same way from there. Um, apparently, you do talk to his. God damn it, it froze again. Is it gonna wake up? No, it's not gonna wake up. And we're back. So, um, yeah, that crashing is a bit annoying, but, uh, not too much I can do about it. Except just continue on our way to Ivarstead, retracing the steps that we've already... Hello, Nirnroot, again. Retracing the steps we've already taken. So, we'll go up and see the Stormcloak soldiers, and they will offer me to join the Rebellion, and while they're killing a Frostbite Spider... Should it be just over this hill? There they are. Nope, there's a frostbite spider. I don't see any stormcloak soldiers though. This is slightly annoying. I wonder if this actually blocks their thingy. Oh hey, I actually blocked a bit there. Oh dear, this is getting. There we go. That guy almost owned me. Shame on you, frostbite spider. I will take your venom and puff as your punishment. So, no Stormcloak you guys. I guess they didn't randomly spawn today. Not that it particularly matters. We will quick save again so we don't have to kill that spider five times in a row. I wonder if the wolves are over here is the same as they were last time. Hello, wolvies! Here, boy! Here, boy! Come here! Give me your pelt. Nope, there's a random orc dude who has just fucked up a bunch of saber cats. Holy shit, dude. Well, I'll take that. And I'll take that. Since, you know, you're not doing anything with them. So. If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. A good death? The crap? What the? Hmm. Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. Certainly wouldn't. My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. 
I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. Hmm. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are gray and feeble and their hair falls out. To cling to something past its usefulness is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? So essentially, orcs are Skyrim's version of Klingons. Cool. Well, I'll give you your death. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? I'm super sure. Hmm. We shall see. You're mine. <laughs> It's actually pretty. That's it? That's all you got? Well, if you keep blocking me, you dick. There you go. I'm pretty sure your god told you to get stabbed right in the balls. I'll take your lockpick. Uh, some mead. Hmm. Nah, I don't really like the mead. So, there you go. I gave you your death. Congratulations, you are dead. There we go. Healed up. We will quick save it. What the hell just hit me? Oh, there's the wolves. Excuse me a minute. Great sword. Yay, and I leveled up. I'm awesome. So this is actually going better already. Got a level. I have killed an orc friend. Thank you for dying. And we'll quick save again, just to make sure. And we will spend our points. And since we're getting pretty low on health when we're fighting, we're going to put another bit in there, I think. So, let me see. My speech is artificially inflated. Do I have a thingy equipped on that? I'm not sure. Uh, let me see. Lock picking, sneaking, two-handed. I already put a bunch in that. I'd like to put a bit more in block, but we're only at 17 right now. Heavy armor, not much we can do there. Smithing, not much we can do there. Maybe we could go for a restoration perk. Let's go regeneration. That'd be nice. Uh, but I think... I'm kind of tempted to put something in speech. I'd like to be able to... I'd kind of like to be able to get up this tree here. Especially this one. Sell all the crap I get. But, uh, hmm, do I want to go for the, you know, our restoration isn't failing us yet, why don't we go for speech? I'll take that, especially since we need some gold to get ourselves our home in Whiteburn. Be very interested in uh, having that happen as soon as possible, so we don't have to keep carrying everything on our backs. How many freaking wolves are there out here? My god. I feel like single-handedly depopulate the entire wolf population of this whole area thingy. Corner the market on wolf pelts while I'm at it. Alright, on we go. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, that's usually what happens more often is it just momentarily glitches out. I will quick save there, just in case it glitches on me again. And hopefully it won't, because we are almost Ivaris dead. My god, we are finally there. Pop that away. So we can see where we're going. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. And yeah, there's a guard there. Don't give a fuck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just skip into town here and... Oh, excuse me again. I'm sorry about that. Help me to belch in your ears. 
Ooh, who am I kidding? I love belching in your ears. Uh, there's a guy around here somewhere who gives us a quest to go. There he is. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Indeed it is not. Greybeard's expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one It looks really weird when they're talking to each other but staring directly I at me. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? Eh, da, 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 da. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. Mm, yeah, delicious. Things that keep fresh for a long time. The graybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Oh, I think I do. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. The trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Go in there anyways. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Okie dokie lokie. <laughs> well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Seeing a bear out of the corner of my eye. You know, I think I'm going to end off this, uh little episode with me fucking up a bear. Get myself ground up a little more on my levels because uh, apparently he's never seen a troll on the mountain but I have and there's going to be a couple frost trolls up there. So we want to be pre as prepared as possible. So hello bear! Oh wow he's actually kind of messing us up. Ouch! That kind of hurt. Me! Heal a little bit. Potion of minor healing. There we go! Right in the gizzard. Don't, don't run away from me. Bear claws, bear pelt, sure I'll grab both of those. And there we go! And there's apparently a uh, cave here that I never realized was here before. It's full of bats. Cool! But we are going to save that for later because we are going to go up to High Hrothgar on the next episode. And so, I'm just thinking if I should do a little housekeeping, but I think I'm, this episode has gone on long enough, so we will just take a look at the huge mountain we are about to climb and call it a day. So, I want to remind you guys to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.